sponsored by Ortho Nebraska. Welcome back to Sunday Sports Overtime. One high school senior looks to fulfill his dreams of playing college ball. Here's this week's Road to Recovery. Wyatt Worley is a multi-sport athlete competing in basketball, track, and football at Logan Magnolia High School in Iowa. To say the past two years have been difficult would be an understatement. In 2016, Worley tore his ACL during his junior year. After undergoing surgery and rehabbing his knee, more bad news came that following summer. Doing some summer practices, some seven-on-seven seven kind of camps and stuff. Um, I was just running around and then kind of popped and tore it again. The running back decided he was going to try and play on it for his senior season. You know, first game rolls around and my first carry got a 15-yard run and then just uh, tackled and it just popped. Wide had to sit out the rest of the game. He tried to play on it once more the following Friday and his knee popped again. I remember it happening. My whole body just went numb when it happened and all I could feel was my knee. The Panther underwent his second ACL reconstructive surgery, realizing he had rushed the recovery process. A lot of studies have been showing lately that it's actually probably better to hold off to more eight to nine months. Um, it takes a certain amount of time for the ACL graft for all the little blood vessels to grow into it and for it to really fuse in and heal back. And so kids can be working hard, they get their strength back, they feel good, and then we have to kind of purposely try and pull back the reins a little bit just to make sure you lower that risk of a re-injury. Wyatt is doing things differently this time around. Kind of tickle things a little more slow. First time I was really anxious to get back and you know, I was trying to push the limits maybe a little too much. But uh, this time we're taking it slow and uh, I have no rush to get back until spring. The senior will be attending Iowa this fall and is determined to walk onto the football team next spring. It's always kind of been a dream of, you know, playing the college level. I've always had that dream and, you know, um, I feel like I was shorted out of my senior season and also my kind of junior season. So kind of wanted to return and make it back up at college. I kind of want to see what I can do after two surgeries. And, uh, you know, I, if in the end it doesn't work out, I can say I tried. And that's the best thing to take away from it, is saying you can try, you know, I tried. Wyatt is devoting all his time and effort to making the team. He still visits with his physical therapist, Paul Murray, to get him prepared for Division I football. We really try to focus on some of the sport-specific movements, um, you know, trying to incorporate some of the ball skill things since he will be a skill position player. You know, where we're trying to, in addition to having him cut or, or stop or change direction, but also having him try to focus on catch a ball or think of where a defender might be um, as he's going through those movements and those activities. It feels really good um, doing this stuff. You know, sitting out seven months, not being able to do this stuff, and then actually sitting out both times, you know, just getting back into it, and it just feels good to kind of have your body back, and, you know, have your legs back, and kind of starting to feel, you know, like an athlete again. Wyatt's older brother attends Iowa, and he's looking forward to training with him this fall. He says when spring rolls around next year, he'll be ready to go and can't wait to surprise everyone. That wraps up Sunday's